Hi, welcome back to my channel. Uh, well, I purchased it. Uh, if uh, you remember, I was thinking about uh, doing a getting a new bandsaw, uh, and I did. I got it. Um, it's the Axminster Workshop AW 1950B. It's. Um, I thought it was going to be too big for me sh for my little shop, but uh, I managed. It, I seem to have more room with it in than what I did with the other one. So don't ask me how, but uh, I've already unboxed it because the box was uh, too really big to bring into the shop and weighing 50 kilos. Uh, and my garden, I have to go down steps first to get into the garden. So um, I thought no. <laughs> So I took it out of the box and um, I brought it down. I'll show you around it in a minute. Um, first thing I ordered it. I ordered one just after Christmas, a couple of days after Christmas. They sent it out. I opened it up, and um, it were all damaged. Uh, the base was all bent up, cut under the bottom door, and one of the uh, the black knobs that opened the door that was all broke so I couldn't even close the door the one at the top so I rang them up explained what had happened uh, very polite at Axminster they were very helpful um, uh, the lady said just box it up as best you can uh, we'll get another one sent out straight away and we'll come and pick that one up and that's uh, what happened and I just got that uh, uh, what are it? About first week in uh, the new year? Yes, because the uh, being as it was um, over the uh, new Christmas and New Year period, uh, the shop was shut anyway. So uh, I just had to wait a few more days longer. But yeah, it's all here. So I will I take you around it. Uh, I've still got all the bits to put on, and uh, we'll go from there. Right, that's where we've got it. It's where the other one was. All I've done is cut the top off of there that went across where the other bandsaw went um, and I've used that for the top of that. The bottom part, it, what I already had, it's what used to hold um, my crosscut saw on. So I've just extended it up, it's only just off cuts of wood, it's only for a, a shop project anyway. So. Um, and I've left a little shelf underneath as you can see I've got uh, another blade under there well there's two blades under there uh, one of the blades it's what was in the machine itself so I've already took that out and I've put a 6mm blade in so I've already done that before I thought setting it all up so oh easy just open it up and that's it with the other one you see I had to use a screwdriver so uh, but all I've got to do now is set everything up ready like I say I've, I've put the blade on the new one got it in centre put the brushes down over and uh, yeah oh I put the the attention knob on so I could do the blade so I've put that on already so, like I say, that's uh, already done. So it's just a case of twisting them and that's it. It's uh, as easy as that <laughs> to tighten it, uh, fasten them back up. So, yeah. So, right, here's the other bits on the table. There's the bed and everything. Then we've got the fence. Uh, you got a push stick. Uh, we a spanner, bit of tubing that goes um, that goes from here down to the port there. So you've got it like a, it's an extra to get rid of the sawdust. So we've got that. Um, that's what the hose attaches to with the clips and. Uh, We've got a manual. Oh, and we've got the uh, tape measure to stick on onto there. So, um, yes, yeah, so uh, we'll uh, get started and uh, we'll start setting it up. Right, we'll do the bottom bearings first. 
it says we've got to remove this, the guide, and set to one side. Put that over there so I know where it is. The guide bearings, it says they've got to be like half a mil from the blade. So, oh, wrong way. So we'll just do it by eye. That looks about right. And we'll just tighten them down. And the thrust bearing at the back, they say it's got me about a mil off. Right, we'll have a look, see what that is. There, so tighten that. So that's that bottom one done. Easy enough to do. We'll tighten them up. Then it's the top ones. Exactly the same. Um, uh, as the bottom. So a mill for the thrust bearing and the two guide bearings each side. We've got to be half a mill from the blade. So we'll sort that out. On the top one, all we've got to do is loosen these little two clamping knobs and they just twist round lot. So once you get them where you want them and screw the clamping knobs back down. And that's all there is to it. And then for the rear, what's it, um, bearing it's exactly the same, undo it and just push it forward till you've got it to the right uh, distance from the blade itself. So then that's the top one's done. Right, we're going to fit table now. So we've got to remove the two bolts. Um, we've got to remove the insert plate and we have got to remove uh, the table stabilising bolt which is that one <laughs> so and then we've got put the this at a 45 degree and then uh, feed the blade through and uh, put the bolts back in so uh, that's what we'll do like I say it comes with a spanner anyway so I think on the next size model up it's got four bolts instead of just the two on this size of model. Move the stabilising bolt, that should just pull out, which it does. Uh, the insert plate, that just pushes out. Uh, get these unlocked, turn it to 45 so we can get at the bolts, tighten them back down, right, get this, even this bit is heavy, Down. All right, let's see if we can locate it. Where are we? Bit to the. Have we got it? By George, I think we've got it. That's one. Oh. Right. Has that one gone straight in? It has. There it all lined and where's my spanner? Let me span her out. One side. Yeah, it's a 13 mil spanner, so that's tightened down just for a bit. Just tighten it all the way because we've got to adjust it and everything so the old thing weighs um, 
or is it 38 kilos? Now I've got that on. So, right, let's tip this. Oh, where are we? One is. I'll tilt it back down. Tighten that back up. Oh, it's beginning to look a bit more like a bandsaw. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> oh, where are we? There we go. So, that's the table on. Now, We've got to fine tune it to make sure everything's straight and it's level and everything else. So that's the next project to do. Right, um, I've not had to adjust anything. Everything's it's straight out of the box. It's perfectly square. So let me put that onto there. As you can see, it's perfectly square. Same with the back straight out of the box so if you have to adjust it take that off tilt that up if you have to adjust the um, the bed either this way or that way what it is there's a knob there you just un undo it with the spanner either take it in or uh, make it come out so it then tighten it back up so it stops so it's perfectly square to the blade and for the bed tilting this way or that way there's some uh, grub screws uh, I don't know you can't well see them really there's some grub screws on the bottom plate here so you just uh, tighten them down or uh, tighten them up whichever way so it uh, tilts the bed in either direction so but uh, straight out of the box I can't complain of that so I've tightened everything down put the, uh, the fence on now so that's all ready and uh, I've just got a few more bits at the top here there's a, a little window for the tracking so once you turn, once you turn, take that down, you can see through the window and it, uh, you can see the blade whereabouts it is on the wheel itself. So that's a handy little feature. So, uh, right, we'll uh, put the other little bits and bobs on now and that's... Uh, that's about it complete apart from sticking the numbers on and everything and uh, we'll give it a test cut so to fit the pipe all there is is four screws there just fit the connector on and the hose from there down to there and you've got the clips to tighten it up onto it so we'll put that in now right we've put everything on now so we've put the hose on connected up so what I've got is a piece of uh, scrap timber, well, all my wood uh, scrap timber. Uh, so, and we'll uh, cut a thin bit and see how it, see how it goes. Oh, that was like uh, a knife through butter. <laughs> I know it's only soft wood, but uh, yes. So that's come out rather nice, that has. And it's not too loud. I think it's more quieter than the other one. I did. Um, That looks rather, rather good. It does. So pleased with that. So uh, all I've got to do now is get it back on its stand and uh, fasten it down, and uh, I'll attach the um, 
tape measure and then that's it so yeah, I've just got my digital calipers out just to uh, see how it's done so this side we have got 503 mil on this side 507 mil so yeah it's a bit I don't I'm not really bothered about that so uh, but yes that's uh, rather good so right I've put it back on its stand uh, it's only a temporary one anyway um, I'd just like to point out as well it's got uh, two speeds so all you have to do there is a bolt just there you undo and then just move the motor up or down and inside the bottom one you can see there's a the drive belt there's two wheels there and there's two wheels here the front one is the larger one then there's one uh, at the back of that that's the smaller one so at the minute it's on the larger one so it's it's on the faster speed so you can either have it at 660 per minute or 840 per minute so that's a bit of different um, to me other bandsaw as well so um, having two speeds so that's a bit of a, a bonus so uh, yes so but like I say it's on a temporary stand at the minute I've got to make a, um, a better one but uh, I didn't have a, enough wood so um, it'd be all right on there for the time being Hey, that's a look at my new toy. Um, yes, I'm pleased with it. Uh, so, I've stuck uh, one of the tape measures on. I've just got another one to do now. So, uh, like I say, I've got to do the stand and just uh, fix it down uh, to the top. Some screws. So, I'll give you some dimensions of it. Um, it's the AW1950B. That's the make of the model. It's got uh, a blade speed of 660 to 840, which I've just mentioned. Um, the blade length is 1950 mil. Um, it can have a blade width, maximum and minimum. You can have a minimum of 6 mil and a maximum of 13 mil. So uh, that was one of the options I couldn't do with my other saw, really. I know I could go up a bit, but not as much as I can on this one. Um, the maximum width of cut is 260mm. The maximum width of cut with a fence is 185 The maximum cut height is 135 so that's a lot more than what I had with uh, my Titan. I think that, that was about 80 So I just wanted that little bit, bit extra. Um, the table height from the stand at the bottom is 1035mm uh, uh, the dust extraction outlet that's uh, 63, a 63mm so like I say I've got one um, an adapter coming to uh, reduce it down from 63 I think it's to 30 I think I've got coming should be coming next week the overall dimensions is uh, length is 790, width is 620, and the overall height is 1,570 mil. And it uh, it says it weighs 39 kilos. So, like I say, it's a solid uh, bed anyway. So that's got a lot of weight to it. So, uh, but yes. I'm very pleased. It, like I say, it fits nicely just in there. It seems I've got like a little bit more room. Like I say, I don't know how because it's a bigger saw. So, but I think uh, my shed, it's like um, inside the Vitardis, I think it uh, seems to expand. Uh, so, uh, but um, yeah, so very pleased at the minute with it. So, thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Please subscribe and I shall see you all on the next video. Bye for now.